Now, eight inspirational young people from across the UK are being recognised with Rotary Young Citizen Awards. Well, throughout this week, we've been talking to the winners, all of whom are under 25 and have been singled out for their outstanding contribution to their communities. Uh, one of those winners is 17-year-old Jess Elmore. She's joint president of the Interact Club at the Queen Elizabeth VI Form College in Darlington. As you can see, she joins me now. I mean, congratulations on this award. I just want to know, what drives you? Why is it important? Because I think you've got involved with helping your community, particularly during this pandemic. I think it's important to help people within this like bad time because it just gives people a bit of happiness in this whole pandemic um, and it's just important to help those in need as I feel grateful for what I have and I'm sure plenty of other people within the club does as well. Jess what is it in your community that you what are the problems there that you particularly want to address? Um, well we've been aiming to reduce social isolation so we've been doing this by visiting care homes on a weekly basis um, but obviously because of corona we haven't been able to do that so we've been sending letters to those to the care homes that we've been visiting instead. So currently we've sent 1,200 letters to those who are self-isolating. We started originally with care homes, but we moved on to bigger businesses like Age Concern, Darlington Town Mission, Post Pals and the Hub in Barnard Castle. Now, what is it that you want to... I mean, I, I'm just looking at you. You're, you're the first uh, jiu-jitsu coach at your school uh, and you, you coaching some of the most vulnerable youngsters. I mean, what does that help achieve? And what sort of youngsters are you helping there? Um, I don't do that. Sorry, Jess. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. We're, we're getting a lot of uh, strange communications here. I, I just wanted, what does winning an award like this mean to you? It means a lot to us in the, in the club because we're getting recognised for what we do. But we didn't set out to win an award. Um, we just we got told when we won the award we weren't aware that we got nominated for it so as we are grateful and thankful for the Rotary Club and the tea and Nancy and um, we we didn't set out to win an award tell me about the I promise campaign what what is that what's that all about I promise is when us as a group we made individual promises and these were all community based so for example I wanted to do a promise for dementia awareness so I did I went through dementia awareness training and I did a cake sale and little forget-me-nots and we raised over 300 pounds for dementia awareness and you've also been helping the local hospital haven't you uh, yes um, in this in this pandemic we've made 100 scrub bags for the local hospitals and in these scrub bags we've done cards of thanks and we've been providing with chocolate brownies and the moisturiser for the staff. You're clearly inspirational and I've spoken all week to, to similar people and I, and I just wonder what it is that, that drives you because to win an award like this, I mean you may not accept it but you're rather special. Uh, yeah, um, it's just, just wanting to help people and just seeing the impact that we have on people is very inspirational and just keeps us going with what we do. Do you think you're inspirational? Um, not personally, but I feel like us as a group and um, what we do can inspire people. Well, do you know what? I think you're inspirational. And, and I know we're dealing with some communication problems, but Jess, it's really good to talk to you and many, many congratulations. And I'm sure we'll hear of you plenty of times in the future. Thank you. <laughs>